let's play with our sphere radius a bit and get a little bit deeper into the animation well right away we know that the the wind turbulence is too strong but also the sphere might be too big what if we set it to eight Okay. Let's grab our wind one here. And we will scale this down to point zero one. Because we want big waves for this one. And now we have it. So now it's starting to look like cigarette smoke. Um, some people are a fan of turning on frequency, and I'm not. I'm not one of those fans. But I feel if you think that you need to have it, um, keep it really low, because the higher you set it, say if I set it to like 1, it starts to look like it's in water and constantly being fluctuated. Um, I see a lot of people with their particles make a lot of these goofy mistakes of, well, that doesn't even look so bad here. But a lot of people don't understand what things look like. I mean, they might have the skill to pull off, you know, a neat smoke effect or this and that, but they don't understand the scale of it or how it would actually look. See how this is just like, I mean, it's constant. I, 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 can't, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, you know. You know when things don't look right, and that does not look right. I'm going to say that's a point one. I'm just going to turn it off, actually. So we have that set now. Let's go back, and we will add our wind two again to our forces. Uh, so that's a point one. Ah, oh, what, what did I just do? One, I want to select our wind two. Point one, zero, and then point one again. Maybe point two, three, something like that. And we can see the effect that it'll take on it. Ah, much better. Uh, maybe if I even brought down this further to let's say point five <coughs> excuse me and what do we even start seeing our smoke at uh, right there huh Well, it doesn't matter. I guess we could turn the smoke on at about frame 110. So let's say start at 110. Ah, well, that's right. It doesn't leave the big trail then. Drats. 50 we'll start it at. <coughs> and we'll see how high up we need it to go. I think that'll be it, though. 50 we'll start it at. What do we have selected? Our wind one. We could probably still drag that back even further. 0.25. Wait for that to update. And I apologize. I realize this tutorial this is like one of those do something and wait tutorials. Um, but, you know, you want to learn. This is what it's about. So that's kind of looking good. We got the extra turbulence in there. Everything's moving. Um, one of the problems I'm seeing, though, is that it's penetrating the ground, ground plane, and I don't like that. That's going to bother me, and I'm going to stop it. See, it's being choppy now because it's trying to calculate the particles and still run it in real time. 
<coughs> just cut out real time and let it process properly, not overdo it. Maybe I'll change the camera angle a little bit also. Um, I don't like the way it's looking right now. View. What if here it backed off to about here? And then we erased or deleted that key. For our last frame, maybe we'll bring in some other shells, maybe. I don't know, everything's trial and error with this. I mean, that's just the name of the game. It's about running your own tests and um, coming up with results that you like. So I like that. We'll leave it at that right there. And the <coughs> And again I'll I'll turn the particles on at zero. God damn it. Okay, so we have the look basically what we want. I'm gonna um, oh, I forgot the floor collision. <coughs> I'm going to... Underneath forces, they have deflectors. I'm going to put in a... Uh, uh, da, 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 a universal dynamic flect deflector. No, let's do a U deflector. And I'm going to grab my ground plane. Now I can add in a collision, which is here, into this. I'll add by list, U deflector, bounce. Let's not bounce, let's just say, uh, yeah, we'll bounce. And let's watch and see what it does. First, I'm going to... Oh, I forgot to do this earlier. But I want to push the upper limit. And now I want to lower the count. Maybe we'll just get rid of one of these zeros here. And we'll, we'll just raise it up again. We just want to make sure that our particles are acting the way we want before we pump it up. 